Hey everyone, this is Chris from Chris's Beamers. Thanks for watching the video today. Um, so in December of 2021, BMW uh, put a press release out indicating that the digital key is now available for Android smartphones. So if, if you're unaware of how significant that is, let me take you back a little bit in history there, um, all the way back to late 2018, early 2019. So at that time, we had uh, just launched uh, internally what we call the Geo 5. That was the all-new X5 for 2019. And it debuted a really cool system called the BMW Digital Key. Each car came with an NFC card, kind of looked like a credit card. You would take that, tap that on your on the driver's door handle to lock or unlock. Then when you get in the car, uh, place it down on that pad, and then foot on the brake, press the start stop, and you're good to go. So as cool as that is, uh, certain Android devices at the time that had NFC uh, technology built in, they could then use their smartphone in place of that card, which was even better. Uh, just the same concept. The card replaced your physical key fobs, and now your phone is replacing the card. So it really, uh, really just depended on how much, you know, what level of technology you wanted to be at. But for those that wanted the best, that was a really cool option, and it was a really nice feature to have. However, as many Android customers as we have, there are many, many, many more iPhone customers. And BMW knew that something had to happen to uh, provide support there because the hardware-software combination we had in the first generation of iDrive 7 uh, just simply wasn't compatible with iPhones uh, at that time for the digital key. So in the 2020 model year, um, hardware and software was updated in these vehicles and it gave a provided support for iPhones for digital key. And while that was great for them, it unfortunately took support away from Android. So it was a crazy, crazy situation. Year one, support was for Android. Year two, support was for Apple. Um, and then since then, it's always been about Apple, really. There has been no support for Android uh, since then. So obviously that was something that BMW knew that they had to fix again uh, with the system. So um, the great news is uh, support is now available for Android smartphones, starting with uh, the Samsung Galaxy S21 series and Google Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. So th this is not going to be something that is going to work with um, a 2019. I want to make that very clear just so there's no confusion there. So, you know, at BMW internally, we, we look at 2019 model years with uh, the, the digital key, and we call that digital key classic. And we call it classic because it has physical hardware in it that can't work with smartphones today. Um, and so it will only work with the NFC card. Um, but uh, 2020s should be working, and, and anything forward should be working with both devices. Uh, I mean, multiple brands, Apple and, uh, you know, Android as well. So this is software required. You have to have the latest update, um, you know, remote software upgrade of iDrive 7. That all has to be there. Uh, you have to have the right phone, the right software on your phone. I mean, there's definitely a number of things that has to uh, be in place for this to work. But the great news is that the digital key is now available for uh, starting with select Android uh, smartphone. So if that's you, I would definitely reach out to your local BMW center to see how you can take advantage of this great new feature and functionality, or I should say restore the features and functionality uh, you once had uh, quite a few years ago. So it, it, took, a, it took long enough, but uh, the good news is you, you now have that again. And um, I hope that you all can uh, utilize that and make the most out of your, your vehicles. So again, thanks for watching the video. Uh, please subscribe so you can always stay up to date with our latest content. So just like here, uh, when you have those updates to your vehicle, uh, there's so much more uh, features and functions that just kind of get opened up to you and things you can do with your vehicle. So uh, staying subscribed is um, basically going to be the way to keep you kind of informed of how all this stuff is going to work uh, in the future for you and uh, in, in your car. So again, thanks again for watching and please stay healthy and safe out there.